I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm Hey guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana. I feel like this was just like back to the old days when little Miss Kova, as soon as I'd sit down to film, would come running in and sit on my lap. She's feeling very puppyish today. But anyways, I just wanted to say good morning and welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Today we are doing a little antique shopping. I'm looking for not really Christmas. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I love you too. Not really oof, um not really Christmas decor, more like winter decor. So I'm really thinking a lot about once all of this Christmas decor comes down, how I wanna decorate and continue to keep my home feeling really cozy for the cold, cool winter months. We still have four months around here of super cold, dreary, gloomy weather, and there's nothing like just coming inside the fireplace on and just feeling super cozy. So my video after this one is going to be um, a little bit of a winter decor haul and just how I'm gonna decorate it, decorate for winter and some winter decorating you know, ideas. So this time I just wanted to go, like I said, go to the antique store to see what I could find. Um, I love, love mixing old with new. So. I don't have the style home where I could decorate with all antiques, but I love, there's to me nothing like antiques because then my home doesn't look like everybody else's home. So, you know, I love going to Home Goods and um, Hobby Lobby and all those places and picking up things too, but, <laughs> come on. But there's just nothing like those pieces of decor that just, set your home apart from everybody else, makes it feel cozy, makes it feel lived in. So we're gonna go to the antique store, we're gonna see what we can find, and then I'll share with you a little haul when I get back. And then also today, my daughter and I are going to do our seasonal Trader Joe's taste test. We always have such a great time doing that. Um, unfortunately, my other daughter, she couldn't be in the last one. She's not in this one. She is at work today, and then she does have her own horse. So she usually goes immediately from work and goes and spends time with her horse. My husband popped in for the last one, but unfortunately, he is out of town, so he will not be able to pop in for this one either. But that's okay. We're still going to have a great time. My daughter and I are going to taste test, and I, we will share that with you also. So without further ado, I'm going to... Um, go to the antique store, run just a few clips of what they have, and then I will meet you back here with a haul. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I knew. This Christmas, I only want to be close to you. It's a magical time full of kisses 
Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose. Moving nimbly, did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Okay, so I am back and I have a few good pieces to share with you. So like I was saying earlier, I just like to keep everything cozy. I love mixing old pieces. I love in the winter, actually I love all year, but I especially love in the winter time copper pieces. I was looking for old antique uh, winter artwork, not Christmas necessarily, but just winter scenes or winter artwork. And um, yeah, so I just picked up a couple of things, so I will share that with you now. Okay, so the open shelves in my kitchen, I want to add a lot of old copper pieces to, mixed in with woods and whites, just keeping it warm and cozy. So I did find this old copper pitcher, and I think this was, let me see if I can find my receipt. This was normally $18 and then the, everything was, I think 20, not everything, certain vendors had their prices 20% off for the holiday season. So this was 20% off. So it came out to be $14.40. I think it's just the perfect little size stacked on top of some white plates and possibly on top of a wood riser, I think makes a beautiful, beautiful, um, visually pleasing centerpiece or um, shelf decor. Okay, so I did want an old copper tea kettle. So I did find this one. This one was normally 27 and I got it for $21.60. It has just the wooden handle, super aged looking. I may try to clean this up, but I don't know. I like it just like this. And I think it's just so beautiful. And again, I think it'll be perfect either on the stove top or on my open shelving in the kitchen or something. Okay, so then I found this beautiful winter scene. It is on this, it says right here, since 1868, it's just like a little canvas panel. And I think this is gorgeous. It is not framed. I don't even know that I would put it on a frame, to be honest with you. I may just lean it up on a backsplash or I have a um, an iron from McGee & Co. Uh, picture stand. I may put it on that. I'm not really sure. But I thought this was like a perfect winter scene. I love the colors in it and it's just nice and neutral. And this was, this was only $12. I thought that was a great price. So I was finding some really pretty winter scene pictures, but they were like upwards of $150 and I just didn't want to spend that. And I also didn't need a huge, I just wanted a smaller painting that I could just add to my open shelves or something. So I love this. Okay, so I have been looking for a while for an old vintage pic or antique picnic basket. This one is beautiful. So they had a bunch of picnic baskets from different vendors. And I would say pretty much for the size of this, almost the exact same one with the wooden top like this were anywhere from $68 up. So we found this one and it didn't have a price. And so we were like, let's just, I, when I say we, my daughter and I went together. I'm like, let's just bring it up and we'll ask her. We'll say it doesn't have a price. We'll have a cutoff, like if it's over, um, I don't know if it was over $50 or $60, I'm not gonna get it. But this particular vendor had another picnic basket that was smaller and, and quite different than this one, not nearly as nice but she had it for like $25. So I'm like, maybe this one is like $35 or something. So I'm like, if it's anything though over 50, I'm not buying it. Well, so when I brought it up to the desk, the lady was like, hmm, I'm not really sure. And then she's like, how does $25 sound? I'm like, uh, sold, I will buy this for $25. 
I think that is a great deal compared to all the others that I saw. And this one is in so much better shape than all of the other ones. So I love this. So what I really hope to do with this is put this somewhere in my dining room or perhaps on top of my um, refrigerator and kind of prop it open and then put some greenery and some plants in here or um, some not Christmas trees, but some like pine like trees that you know are very natural and just winter looking and put those in there but i love that we can use this all year and my daughter was super excited because she's been wanting to go on a picnic with like her friends or something and she's like i want to bring the picnic basket so i'm like why not so for 25 dollars I thought that was a great deal. I love the coloring of it and I think it just adds great texture for the winter months. Okay, so probably the last, my favorite thing I got. Well, okay, first of all. So I did pick up this vessel. I think this is so, so beautiful. I love how aged it is and you know i just kind of looks a little bit beat up and i absolutely love it i love the brown coloring and i don't know i think it's just a perfect vessel for adding a plant in any time of the year or greenery picks or something like that but the way that they had it styled was just like this and i was like i need that i need that whole thing just like this so this itself was only $18, which I thought was an amazing deal. And it says as is, but to be honest with you, I really, besides it's antique and it's, you know, a little bit, you know, kind of aged, there's nothing wrong with it. So I was okay with that. And, but this is like the perfect little winter combination. Um, I love this little greenery tree so much. This will stay right out through, um, probably through March and then I'll switch it out for something else. But this is exactly what is winter to me. And first of all, this is super realistic. So obviously this is, this itself is not an antique, uh, but they did sell it there. I can't remember what it was like 20 bucks or something. I love the little pine cones on it. I love how natural the stems look. I like how it's like a more sparse little tree, but with this pot or this vessel and this tree, it is like the perfect combination and exactly the look I'm going for and the coziness that it offers for the winter time. So love that. And I think my friends, that is everything that I picked up from the antique store. So now without further ado, my daughter and I are going to do our Trader Joe's Christmas taste test. It is a ton of sweet stuff. There's only one salty thing in there, but, um, yeah, we're excited to try it and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so now we're going to do our seasonal Trader Joe's taste test. Um, well, I say seasonal, it's not every season, it's usually fall. And I don't even know if we did a Christmas one last year, but we've done a fall one a couple times. So we're excited to try all this stuff. However, everything except for one thing, and I don't even think the one thing that we got is a seasonal item. I think <laughs> it's just, we needed to break up all the sweet stuff with one salty thing. So. We are going to, those are in the oven right now. They'll be done in a few minutes and we'll start with some sweet things. We do have our coffee with just literally nothing but cream in it because we just need to be able to kind of break up some of the sweetness. We have a couple tried and true things that we're going to share, but we're not going to try them on this video. We would be sick if we tried all of this stuff, we but still will. we just want to share. This is probably the number one tried and true yeah. favorite and that is these mini dark chocolate mint stars they are literally like a thin mint yeah. in a star they are like amazing they're like little bite size but they're a little dangerous because i think you could pretty much wipe off the whole box we do they have wiped off a whole box in a night but so usually when we go i pick up like six of these yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally each time yep yeah. when they're still there there are these dark chocolate stars so basically they're just not mint they're yeah. like i think a 
short, yeah, they're a shortbread cookie with a dark chocolate frosting or icing or whatever. And yeah, they have just little sprinkles they're on them. They're a little bigger too. Like those ones are mini, but these are like yeah. the bigger version. But, yep. But they're a definite tried them every year. Absolutely love them. I think just under the mini. Yeah, Mint so stars. only like five boxes of these. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So then the last thing are these mini, I am like a ginger mm. bread fanatic. Like Jeez. I love everything gingerbread. So these are my absolute favorite though because they have a little white Frosting. white fudge icing. So gingerbread cookies with a white fudge icing on like just one side. Oh, they are They're so, so good. good. These are my favorite gingerbread. They things, are absolutely amazing so that is another tried and true if i highly suggest if you like gingerbread or you like just chocolate <laughs> get these cookies that we just suggested so um we are going to rate what did we decide christmas trees. christmas trees we're going to rate everything from a one to five christmas tree one being the worst five being the best so I think because it's from the freezer, we're gonna start with this gingerbread ice cream. Do I have that? Yeah, gingerbread ice cream. And we will give this a try first and see how it tastes. Oh, there's something hard in there. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, ready? Ready. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's gingerbread ice cream with triple ginger snap cookie pieces and gingerbread swirl. That's very really good. very gingerbready, yeah. but I love that. Wow. So that is really really good. Wow, I don't know. So on the count of three, Kay. we're going to rate it: one, two, three, four, four and a Christmas half trees. Wow, Christmas trees, four and a half. So four and a half, four. four. But the, I love gingerbread. There's our there's our non or only salty thing. Here. Our non seasonal thing, probably. Exactly. Um, but I think that is amazing. Sweet and salty snack mix. Okay, so there's a little salt. So maybe we should save it. <laughs> I know. That has mini peanut butter filled pretzels, half dipped chocolate covered <gasps> potato chips. What? Chocolate drizzled caramel corn and roasted salted virgin peanuts. I bet you this is gonna be pretty Did good. Did you know it had potato chips? No in idea. It? I had not nope. We just saw this in the seasonal stuff and we got it. I thought it was so yellow. here's what it looks like on the inside. All right, so like just reach in and grab a couple things out. What'd you get? I don't know. I'm gonna get something else too. Okay. I got it. I did too. Oh, peanut butter filled pretzels. Yeah, I love those. Is oh, that what you're gonna try first? All right. So, well, no, well we let's just try it. Let's just try it. So on the count of three, one, two, three, three, three Christmas half. trees. Oh, wow. Actually, you know what? You're right. I three think three and, and a half. Because it's, it's good. It's it's like if you want a trail mix, you got a trail mix. It's like very it's good. Salty and sweet. That's I actually liked sweet. the potato chips just because I thought it was different. Okay. Now I'll decide these. Okay. Show, Show everybody what it is. What is it? You'll okay. say what it is. <laughs> There's a dark chocolate covered gingerbread cookie folk. 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 <laughs> 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 we will split these. They are. Oh, full. they're so good. Wait, they're, they're soft. Oh, they are? Oh, cool. I just squished it. Cool. Kay. Well, yeah, we're going to split those. Cause... Oh, they're soft. Interesting. I they almost they remind are. me of um, like Swiss cake rolls. If you're old like me, you know what a Swiss cake roll yeah, is. Yeah, I don't know what a Swiss And it has rolls. like the frosting and it's like soft in the middle. So, anyways, okay, ready? Go. Yeah. One, two, three. It's like chewy. Mm -hmm. Where's the gingerbread? I'm actually getting a very strong ginger flavor. You're not? No. Is that funny how people get it so different? Um. Mm, no. So. No, that's like I, sweet. I love gingerbread. To me, this is extremely strong ginger. Like, I'm getting straight up ginger. I'm getting. And I, you, she's not getting any ginger. I wonder if it's like they, like maybe it has pieces of ginger. I don't know. I don't know. I don't love it. I actually don't like it. So if I have to pick, if all gingerbread was like this, I wouldn't like it. I so, like it. okay, ready? One, two, two three, three. One Christmas tree. One and a half. Yeah. That was not, I was, I had high hopes for that. Yeah. Not my favorite. This is, this, okay. When I say we haven't tried everything, we did open this already and take a bite. And that's only because 
We never can find this when every season she has a friend that always recommends this. Julia, if you're watching. Yeah. Um, always recommends this and it's never available when we go to Trader Joe's. So when we saw this, we had to snatch it up and that was last week and we had to open it and taste it. So it is amazing, but I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's just a fun mix of fan favorite candies and treats. So um, yeah, I think it has, oh, milk and dark chocolate covered pretzels, dark chocolate covered caramel corn. The best. And I guess I'm an M's. Oh, milk and dark chocolate mini peanut butter cups, dark oh. chocolate enrobed JoJo cookies, and milk chocolate. Blech. God bless Sorry. you. Sorry. And Sorry. milk chocolate candies. So there's that. This is what they look like. So I'm gonna try something though that I like. Don't really know what it is. So not that I don't know what it what is, is but I feel like chocolate that's a cookie. I think that's the caramel corn maybe, or maybe it is. The, actually, maybe I picture this is the cookie. So I'm gonna try the cookie piece, you pick something. I've tried it all. I know, but just try something again. Cause... Well, the popcorn's my favorite. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was definitely the mm. cookie. Yours was the caramel corn. Was it really, really sweet though? Mm-hmm. I find this whole mm. mix extremely sweet. There's nothing salty, actually. Uh -uh. There's the pretzels, not. but they're literally coated in chocolate, head to toe. Mm. The caramel corn's really good, too. And then the peanut butter cups. I didn't know they were milk and dark mm. chocolate peanut butter. Um, I think it's amazing. There's nothing not to like about it, mm -mm. but it is very sweet. Like, to me, this is something I could only have a few pieces that would, like, cure my sweet tooth craving, yeah. um, but know. it would be enough. But this is a highly recommend. Ready? One, oh, no, I two, don't. three, four, four and, and a half. half. We save our five for whatever reason. I don't know. It's just hard to give a five. It is. You know? It is. I really like it, but I do. I think you're right. It's really, 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 really sweet. Yeah. All right. So now we are going to try minty cocoa truffles. Yeah. Looks like a looks like a Hershey Kiss, actually. Oh, are they airy? No, I don't think so. They're, they're chocolate. They're yeah, candy. They're okay. Oh, smells like cocoa. Mmm. I don't taste mint at all. Mm. They're good. They're very sweet. Mm -hmm. Dad would like these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can't be here. Neither is my other daughter today. She's at work. My husband's away on a trip. So, a business trip. Mmm. I think good. they're good though. I love the texture. I get a little hint of mint, but they're not super strong. But to me, that's good because some people don't love mint. Like Amanda, my other daughter, isn't one that loves mint candy. So I think she would still like these though because they don't. Those are good. They're very good, actually. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, four and a half. Trees. Four and a half. I think they're very good. They're really good. Four. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So now we are having butter toffee pretzels, mini salted pretzels tossed in a buttery toffee. I love toffee. Do you like toffee? I don't know. <laughs> I thought I had toffee. You've had toffee, but. Oh, these look interesting. Oh. Okay. They look like they'd be salty, don't they? They do. They look like they'd be very salty, but. Ooh, smell. I'm trying to get one that's not like all stuck together. Hmm. Odd smell. Interesting. I love toffee, though. Okay, ready? Okay, go. Oh, no. <laughs> that's stale. That's expired. It's not expired. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's is expired. It? These expired in June of 2022. <laughs> that is awful. That is so bad. Trash. Trash. Okay, maybe if you didn't get expired ones, no. but I don't think so. I think that the flavor mm, was still. That was really gross. Those are huh? gross. Okay, ready? One, two, three. No, Zero. No, negative. No, um, or no uh, Christmas trees. I don't know though if, like, they are they are expired, but I just don't think the flavor is good anyways. Well, I don't, I, I, as soon as I bit it, I was like, expired, that is expired. Like, because you, you saw it or you No, just, because I just like, the pretzel too was like, and not like pretzel texture. Hold on, Colva. Colva has to go outside. Okay. Now, 
Decorate with Dana, aka mom, is now <laughs> getting these out of. Oh my god, can you even see it? There we go. <gasps> gotta tilt it so much. They're crispy vegetable pouches. Handmade crispy wontons filled with savory vegetables. They are super cute. Oh, they're so look cute. Look at those. Those look so good. I'm so excited for this because that I've was disgusting. <laughs> those were. Ooh, they smell good. They do. They smell really good. So again, I don't think these are seasonal, honestly. No. They were in this the freezer section with seasonal stuff, but yeah. I don't there's nothing really about this that's seasonal. It anymore. said holiday. That's why I was like, Mom, do we get these? And she was like, Yeah, sure. Maybe because like an appetizer for a party or something, but okay, ready? Go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are really good. These are really good. So good. Mm -hmm. I've never had a wonton. They're an egg roll. Mm -hmm. They basically remind me of an egg roll. They're just in these cute little pouches. I love mm -hmm. egg rolls. One, two, three, five. five. Those were pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> Not pumpkins, Christmas oh trees. Oh my God, Christmas trees. Five. Christmas trees for Those sure so and I don't know if it's because we just ate yeah. something that was so disgusting so yeah that these are amazing but and also they're just not sweet no. <laughs> so that tastes really good too right now all right so next I think we're gonna try the dark chocolate covered peppermint Jojo's I don't remember having these I I remember them and they were really yeah. good yeah so we're gonna try these again I feel like these are gonna be extremely sweet probably one of those things where you just have one or two um but we'll see this is what they look like on the inside, and then they just have like a candy, um, peppermint candy coating on the outside under the chocolate icing. Mm. Those are good mm. tastes, like Thin Mints. Those are really good. They're very sweet, mm. but those are really, really good. Delicious. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four and a half. Five. Christmas trees. Christmas trees. I don't know why it's said four and a half or like say five, but four and a half. They're so good. Okay, so next we're gonna try the, is it in? Yeah. <laughs> Belgian cookie trio. Not sure what they are. One's almond butter thins dipped in milk chocolate, waffle cookies half dipped in dark chocolate, and butter biscuits fully enrobed in dark chocolate. Mm, those sound good actually. So I'm gonna try this one. This is the little waffle cookie dipped half in chocolate. Well, I'm not sure what this one is, but I'll try this one. It looks like a, the almond biscuit. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Uh-huh. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> mmm. That's so good. You gotta try this one. All right, and then you try it. Some of this one. Mmm, I like that one better. This one? Mmm, -mm. this one. They're good. They're so this sweet. one's plain. Yeah, it's just more a oh, waffle cookie, so it's not really, it doesn't really much. Like this has the almonds. They're really good, it. actually. Mm -hmm. I really like those. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, four point Christmas five. trees. All right, so let's, do you wanna try these? Sure. Candy cane chocolate covered almonds. You getting, feeling sick yet? <laughs> I'm actually doing okay. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. So these again are just roasted almonds dipped in dark chocolate, then enrobed oh. in white chocolate and covered in candy cane bits. Mm. Okay, ready? Okay, ready. Mm, I like them. I think they're good. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, three four. Point five. That's We're always four. like point five off. Yeah. Right? I think they're good okay. though. Yeah. I mean, I, I would, they're not going to be a waste. There's a couple things that may be a waste here. Well, the expired pretzels are going to be a waste, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay. So if you watched our fall one, <laughs> they had these mini moose. They were pumpkins. Yeah. They were amazing. Yeah. They were like a 10 out of 10. So this is the mini mousse presents, rich chocolatey cakes layered with silky mousse. So I have a feeling this will be an absolute favorite also because 
they're probably the same thing. This is what they look like. Whoa. Oh my God, they look so good. These look so good. Okay, ready? Someone at the front. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Our ratings. Okay, ready? One, two, three, five. Four and a half. Christmas trees. I think just because you can only eat one and I'm more of a, I want to eat 50. <laughs> But they're so good. They are really they good. They are really good. These are mini chocolate mousse desserts. And it comes with six of them. Chocolate mousse and a shortbread crust topped with dark chocolate ganache and sprinkles. From Belgium. From Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> She's not eating right now. Cool, we're just ringing her bell because she wants to eat. No, it's not time to eat, honey. Go lay down. Not time for, not yeah. yet. yet. Wait soon. They're, they're so little frozen. Ooh, heart of the rock. Mmm. Mmm. It's really cold. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I like it. Dad. <laughs> he would love this. He, he would, would love absolutely think, love this. I think Amanda would like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, four and a half. Five. Mm -hmm. Wow, we agreed. They're very good. They're also partially frozen, so. Yeah. Maybe like once they were like that moussey texture yeah. and not like ice cream. I kind of felt like mm -hmm. ice cream. I taste like just ice Just because cream. they're still pretty frozen, but they have an amazing flavor. Yeah. So I they could it. be a five, the potential for a five, but they're yes. 4.5 because they're frozen. Oh, oh, those yeah. are like the ones good, I'm dreading. Which, okay, so <laughs> I love these dark chocolate covered minty mellows, marshmallows, light and fluffy peppermint marshmallows drenched in smooth dark chocolate. I just know how sweet these are. I and after like everything, after everything we just ate, oof. you might not like them anymore. I know. Okay, ready? Go. Mm. I don't really <laughs> like it. <laughs> I don't like it. So I like them. I'm just so over sweet right now, and these are extra sweet. <laughs> But I do like them. I think these are very good. I love them. I'm just right now so sweet out. Get them like on my I just. <laughs> Anyways, okay, ready? One, two, three, two, four. Two, threes. <laughs> Bye. Now we're gonna try the Danish butter cookies. I love the tin, actually. I like that you can like reuse the tin. Here they are, different shapes. They look cute though. I do like those. I'm just gonna try this one. Get I'm gonna try the swirly, twirly gumdrop. <laughs> Name the movie. <laughs> when they say butter, they mean butter. <laughs> they are straight up butter. Let's see, you know what? Yeah. In my cold coffee. <laughs> they're so, all butter. they're interesting. Because I they were gonna be like shortbread a little bit. They're all butter. But I will say they don't taste nearly as sweet as all this other stuff that we're having here. Ready? One, two, two three. Two and a three. half. Oh. Because <laughs> I don't know that I'm gonna like go. <clears throat> Sorry. Like actually like reach for them. Yay, last thing. We're having decked oh, out God. tree cookies. Of course, they're the biggest cookies there are. With milk chocolate filling, white chocolate drizzle, and festive sprinkles. I'm gonna throw up just thinking about it. And there's like a little picture. Oh, well, here's the actual cookie on the front. You gave me the biggest Yep. Piece. Okay, ready? Ready. I think those are good. Mm -hmm. I like those. What's nice is they are like a shortbread cookie, but you also get your fill of chocolate and white chocolate, but I don't really taste white chocolate. I think it's just a drizzle, so yeah. I feel like it's drowned out. Um, those are really good, actually. I like shortbread cookies, mm -hmm. so... Those with, like, a cup of coffee would be Ooh, really yeah. good. You ready? Yep. One, two, three, four and a half. Five pump... Uh, five Christmas, Christmas tree. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Welcome. Thanks, you guys, for watching us taste test all this stuff. And, yeah. So, if mom if mom doesn't do videos for the next two days, it's because she's sick. She's a little sick from, from eating expired butter toffee pretzels. Well, yeah. <laughs>
And the disgusting marshmallows that she'll keep eating. If you decide to try the butter toffee pretzels, you might want to check the date because yeah. maybe they don't sell very well and that's why they were selling ones that had probably been there since last year. I'm tagging Trader Joe's in this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed that taste test and um, got a little chuckle or laugh out of the expired uh, toffee pretzels that we tried that were so, so disgusting. I don't know if they were disgusting just because they were expired or if they were just disgusting, <laughs> but anyways, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. We have so much fun making those just to give you, it's all in fun. Obviously our taste is our taste and yours could be totally different, but, um, I'm, ex I'm like not exhausted. I am stuffed and I'm like that I'm not making dinner. Like I am done eating for the rest of the day, but Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did. And if you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And we're, we have a winter home decor haul and decorating idea com coming up probably in my next video just to give you some ideas on how to transition from this cozy Christmas season and continue to keep your house feeling cozy through the winter months. I will see you all in my next video. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.